I have here another Maravi program, this time their photo editor which is available for both Win Windows and Mac. This is the Mac version, I'll be reviewing the Windows version very soon. Here you can drag or drop or browse to your image file. Let's hit my last open one just to be quick. Here we go. It's a straightforward editor, though it does allow you to move objects you don't want, which is a nice addition. Here you've got your various sizing options here. You also got a little tutorial load in here. To the right you have your selection brush, your magic wand. So let's select magic wand and select the hat or cap or whatever you want to call it. There you go. It does quite a decent job plus you have tolerance selection slider here. You have a lasso tool. You have a selection eraser tool which Basically, let's see how well it does. There, you can erase some of your selection. Clone stamp tool. Let's go back to start. You also have variation and brush sizes for this tool here. Now we can start like erasing. This is from the selection I did with the other tool a minute ago. There you go, it's, it's attempted to erase some of the selection from the picture. As you can see, not perfect, let's try to zoom in a bit. Not perfect, but you could change your slider and stuff like that to make a better selection anyway and experiment. I'm going to undo that. In fact, I'm just going to revert all changes. You have a magic enhance, which is basically an autocorrect. As you can see, it brightened it up a little bit, changed a few bits here. It's not the worst auto select, auto correction tool I've used, but it's not the best either. It that could be improved. Here you have new file, save, undo, redo, crop your image, resize your image, flip image horizontally, flip vertically, rotate image clockwise, and of course the enhance tool. Let's try crop drag with the left mouse button to select a crop area then we can hit enter on the keyboard and there you go let's undo a minute you've got here as well you have transform which is basically the same options I showed you image size to change your image size including fit into a certain size such as um, say a iPad mini screen size you can constrain proportions resample image you have your sort of fit to screen basic options like that there then you have file information under file preferences you just have your language selection automatically check for updates when the programs launched send anonymous uses stats to Maravi this I don't mind doing so I normally tick it you can untick it if you don't like that so you can click down here as well to bring up the file box and let's just sort of see here let's try let's say we want to take out this hair whoops well you know what actually that did a good job anyway even though it's not what I was looking for of selecting the background unfortunately it has selected some of my shirt here and my arm here um, see let's try turning the tolerance down a bit Revert changes. Takes longer to select the pieces when you've got the tolerance down. But if you have the tolerance down, it will help you get a better selection, even though it takes longer. Okay, I think it has done a good job of selecting everything there so let's try start erasing okay the area is too large so you have to do smaller areas at a time uh, and also that would just basically delete the background anyway so you you got other ways you could do that you could go to um, let's see let's just try pressing delete on the keyboard 
backspace. No, um, not sure how we would then replace that background. Uh, it must be. Okay, let's right click now. Okay, I can't seem to like in Photoshop I can't just seem to hit backspace or delete key or whatever to then remove the background to a transparent background so that'd be a nice addition unless I'm just not seeing it here so why would you get this over iPhoto well iPhoto has a nice library system to store your photos in and find them quickly which I'd like to see added to this so if, I, if you want more of a photo sort of library, I'll go with iPhoto. This is a bit better for editing as you've got better sort of tools for selecting things and erasing little objects such as say there's a little little uh, say balloon or something floating there. You, you could easily select it and remove it and make it look like it was never there. So it's a better sort of editor but if it's going to compete with iPhoto it does really need to add some more more at least intermediate if not pro level sort of features but not a bad start for a new photo editor on Mac and Windows it will probably really shine more on Windows because you don't have iPhoto on there you and iPhoto is really good the equivalents on a Mac on Windows are probably not quite as good from what I've used so this will shine better on Windows than it does on Mac. So you can download a trial, so I recommend you download a trial and just try it out for yourself. So, thanks for watching. Please like and share this video, and if you do me a huge favour and subscribe to my channel, as it takes just a few seconds and helps me out a lot. Thanks.